Um, this is an episode of the and today we're going to be reading Ezra 10 from the International Version, also known as the NIV Version. If you guys want to go and read along, you guys can go ahead and go to classbibleview.com, or you guys can go ahead and go here. My button on the key, you, you guys want to do it, but let's get started. Ezra 10, United Version, NIV, The People's Confession of Sin. While Israel was praying and confessing, weeping and throwing himself down before the house of God, a large crowd of Israelites, men, women, and children, gathered around them. Son of Jehiel, wait, no. They, were, they too wept bitterly. Then Shekiah, son of Jehiel, one of the descendants of Elam, said to Ezra, We have been unfaithful to our God by marrying foreign women from the peoples around us, but in spite of this, there is still hope for Israel. Now let us make a covenant before our God to send away all these women and their children in accordance with the counsel of my Lord. And of those who fear the commands of our God, let it be done. Sorry, guys. Let it be done according to the law. Rise up, this matter is in your hands. We will support you, so take courage and do it. So Ezra rose up and put the leading priests and Levites and all Israel under oath to do what heaven suggest suggested. And they took the oath. Then Ezra withdrew from before the house of God and went to the room of Jehoadan, son of Eli Shibib. While he was there, he ate no food and drank no water because he continued to mourn over the unfaithfulness of the exiles. A proclamation was then issued throughout Judah and Jerusalem for all the exiles to assemble in Jerusalem. Anyone who failed to appear within three days would forfeit all his property. In accordance with the decision of the officials and elders and would himself be expelled from the assembly of the exiles. Within the three days of all the men of Judah and Benjamin are gathered in Jerusalem and on the 20th, 12, 20th day of the, of the ninth moon, Ninth month, all of the people were sitting in the square before the house of God, but greatly distressed by the occasion and because of the rain. Then Israel the priest stood up and said to them, You have been unfaithful, you have married foreign women, adding to Israel's guilt. Now honor the Lord, the God of your ancestors, and do as well. Separate yourselves from the people around you and from your foreign wives. The whole assembly responded with a loud voice, You are right, we must do as you say. But there are many people here, and it is the rainy season, so we cannot stand outside. Besides, this matter cannot be taken care of in a day or two. He is with some great news, saying, Let our officials act for the whole assembly. And let everyone in our town who has married a foreign, foreign woman come at a set time, along with the elders and judges of each town, until the fierce anger of our God in this matter is turned away from us. Only Jonathan, son of Ashael, and Jehoshaphat, Jehaz son of Tikva, supported by Melushalim and Shabbatai, the Levite, opposed this. So the exiles did as was pros proposed. As of the priests selected men who were family heads, one from each family division, and all of them designated by name. On the first day of the tenth month, they sat down to investigate the cases, and by the first day of the first month, they finished dealing with all the men who had married foreign women, those guilty of intermarriage. Among the descendants of the priests, the following had married foreign women. From the descendants of Joshua, son of Josarak, and his brothers, Messiah, Eliezer, Jerob, Gedaliah, they all gave their hands in place to put away their wives, and for the guilt they each presented a ram from the flock as a guilt offering. From the descendants of Emer, Hananiah, and Zebediah, from the descendants of Hiram, Mosiah, Elijah, Shemaiah, Jehiel, and Uziah, from the descendants of Pasher, sorry guys, Eloniah, Mosiah, Ishmael, Nathan, Nathaniel, Josabad, and Elash. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Elasa, among the Levites, Josabad, Shemiel, Kalai, that is Kilata, Bel, Pef, Ahaya, Judah, and Eliezer, from the musicians, Elishabib, from the gatekeepers, Shalom, Tilim, and Yur, Arai, and among the other Israelites, from the descendants of Parosh, Ramiah, Isaiah, M Malkajai, Mijamin, Eliezer, Makija, and Benaya, from the descendants of Elam, Mataniah, Zechariah, Jehiel, Abdai, Jeremoth, and Elijah, from the descendants of Zatu, Alaniah, Eli, Shib, Mataniah, Jeremoth, Zabad, and Aziza, from the descendants of Bebaya, Jehonan, Hanayah, Zabai, and Adlai, Adli, from the descendants of Banai, Meshulam, Maluk, Adidai, Jeshub, Shil, and Jeremoth from the descendants of Pahav, Mob, Anai, Kelal, 
بنايا مزايا متنايا بزيلا بنوي ان مناسي من الديسنس اوف هيرم هيرم اليزر اشجا مالكجا شمايا شميون بنجوين مالوك ان شرمايا من الديسنس اوف هاشم متنايا متهيا جبار الى فلت جيرمي جيرمي مناسي ان شمي from the descendants of Banai Marai Amram Yuil Benaya Biraya Kelwai Venaya Meramuf Ilashib Matanaya Matanai and Je Jashu from the descendants of Binu Shimeel Shima Shel Amaya Nathan Adaya Maknada Bai Shashe Shara Azrael, yeah, Azrael, Shalamaya, Sherem, Sherem, Shel, in my, Sheremaya, Alun, Amari, and Joseph. From the descendants of Nebo, Jael, Metanaya, Zabad, Zebaniah, Jade, Joel, and Benaya. All these had foreign, had married foreign women, and some of the, them had children by these wives. Okay guys, I know that I mispronounced a ton of words today or names, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to click that like button, make sure to click the bell to turn on our post. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.